Hello and welcome to this video on subsidies and the incidence of subsidies. So in this video we're going to look at what the term subsidy means and then illustrate the incidence of a subsidy on the producer and consumer. So a subsidy, this is money paid by a government to a supplier and it has the effect of reducing their costs and encouraging them to increase output. The effect of a government subsidy is to shift out supply so supply curve will shift to the right. The total amount spent by the government is equal to the subsidy per unit multiplied by the total output. So let's have a look at some examples. We're going to have a look here at a market that has a current price of P1 and a quantity being produced, bought and sold of Q1. Let's now introduce a subsidy. And we can see here that the subsidy has the effect of shifting the supply curve from S to S plus subsidy. What has been the impact of that? Well, the impact of that is it reduced the market price from P1 down to P2, and more of these units are being bought and sold. So what does this mean? Well, let's put some numbers on it. Let's imagine that the starting price here was uh, seven. And so following the subsidy, the value has fallen down to, let's say six, and we'll say the subsidy itself was worth, let's say, two. So how much are the government spending is our first question. Well, the government is spending two on all of the units that are being produced, which is now Q2. So let's call that 100 units. So the government are spending two on every unit and 100 units are being bought and sold. So the government spending on this would be two times 100. They'd be spending $200 or euros or millions of pounds on this particular subsidy. And the area that would represent that would be this area here. So the government are spending this much money, this 200. And the question we're asking here is, the incidence of the subsidy, who gets the benefit of this 200? Now, if you were a consumer, you would see the benefit through a lower price. And if you were the, the producer, you would see the benefit through uh, a higher profits. So if we're trying to come up with the area here that, that represents the benefit to consumers, the incidence of the subsidy that falls on the consumer, the consumer here sees the change in price from P1 to P2, and it applies to all the units, all the 100 units up to Q2. So the consumer share would be indicated by this red box here. The value of that area represents the share or the gain to the consumers from the subsidy. They've seen the price fall from P1 to P2 and now they're getting that benefit over 100 units. So by definition, the rest of the subsidy, the remaining amount of subsidy that hasn't been taken up by the fall in price must be going to the producer. So they are getting, again, 100 units worth of this particular value in here, the difference between P1 and P2 plus the subsidy. So this green area at the top here represents the incidence of the subsidy on the producer, the share of the subsidy that goes to the producer of the product. So this diagram nicely summarizes that the introduction of a subsidy, the total cost is represented by the light and dark gray areas. That's the total cost of the subsidy to the government. The benefit that goes to the consumer is represented by the dark gray area and the benefit of the subsidy that goes to the producer by the gray area. And one thing you'll notice compared to the incidence of taxation is that the consumer is now on the bottom whereas the producer is now on the top. So you just have to flip that round in your mind um, and recognize that that will be the case when we're talking about a subsidy. So in this video, we've looked at what is meant by the term subsidy, and we've also illustrated the incidence of subsidy on the producer and the consumer. That's it. Thanks for listening.